I went to my mother's yesterday and stayed overnight and came back this morning. And I noticed, I came back and it was rush hour, or just before rush hour, about seven o'clock, but the road was still packed. Everybody going about the business, everybody rushing about. And then we came for a walk. And then I went back home and I put the radio on and everyone was talking about bad news. People were just going to work, so house doors were going outside, people were driving past, setting out. Then I put, went back to, to the radio again and it was just bad news. And I kind of, it didn't get to me, but I realised then that it could get to me. And then, it was only then that I kind of realised that even though you take on, even though you try to live a slow and simple life, even though you assure, even though you go away from commercialism as much as you can, and you're happy with that, and you're happy with your life, outside influences are still there. Because I live a slow and simple life doesn't mean that I want to live within some kind of a cult. I still want to mix with friends, acquaintances, people in general. And all those people have different views to me. Well, different views in the way of how we run our lives. They run their lives and they're completely happy with that. I run my life and I'm completely happy with that. But I have noticed that when I have conversations with people now, they're not strained by any means, but conversation tends to centre around things that aren't as much part of my life anymore. Conversation inevitably seems to come back to what people own, what people want, what people spend the money on. And it just seems to be such a massive part of your life, your existence, your being within the community. That means that if it's no longer part of your life and part of your conversation, do we compensate? I found no lacking of things to talk about. I still have all the interests I always had. I still have all the, the passions I always had. But I don't seem to have the same topics of conversation that people around me have. But then I don't feel awkward in the presence. What does that say? I think it means really that you can live a different life. You can live a slightly hard down lifestyle where material things aren't as important to you but we still are part of the whole aren't we we still have the residue of the life we lived it's still natural we can still talk about things I can talk about things with people about holidays and cars and things like that I can talk about it quite naturally without it feeling awkward or making me feel as though I'm, I'm, I'm reaching out, trying to find topics, trying to find answers to questions, trying to find things to contribute into the conversation with. And it's so easy, and I think that's one of the benefits, I think that's one of the real good things about living this lifestyle, is that you aren't shutting yourself off from the world outside you. You still have opinions about things that you don't really need anymore. We don't need a lot of things, but that doesn't mean that we don't like those things, or we don't resent those things, or we don't not want to talk about those things. I can live my slow and simple life and still be able to have endless conversations, debates, heated conversations about things that no longer are part of my life but that are still, it's part of the world around me. So when you live a slow and simple life, it doesn't mean you're detaching yourself. We are still part of the whole, we are still completely in the world we live in, but we are just 
running on a slightly parallel line just off the center and i think that's good and i think that's nice because it means that you don't have to feel don't if anybody takes up this kind of a lifestyle anybody thinks of of living a slow simpler life don't think that you are different don't think that you're detaching yourself from your friends or from the world around you you are still completely a part of it your views are valid your conversation is valid everything about it is valid it's just that you have decided to live with a little less around you less material things not less moral things not less conversational things not less passions so go ahead lead that simple life lead that slow life but it means you're in, you can interact you can debate you can argue don't feel that you are not part of the whole we are we are all part of the community around us and you should be as deeply into that community as anyone else slow living is not a different life it's just a slightly different lifestyle just remember that you are still as much a part of the community around you as every bugger else and that's a nice feeling Hmm. See you on the flippage. Hmm. Peace and love.